New Zealand government has introduced a new investor visa program. It gets called an Active Investor Visa Plus. It's going to be different than its current investor visa program. Watch this video to find out all about it. Hi, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and its latest updates and news. In this video, you'll learn all about New Zealand new investor visa. Before I begin, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. We're having so many more videos and updates. Are you ready? Let's begin! As I explained, the new investor visa gets called the Active Investor Plus Visa. It will replace the current Investor 1 and Investor 2 visa categories. The least required fund is 5 million New Zealand dollars or 3.1 US dollars. The amount for indirect investment will be 15 million New Zealand dollars. You can invest only 50% of that in the listed equities. Passive investment is listed shares will only be allowed to make up to 50% of the new investment. This is why investment in bonds and property will not be counted as passive investment. The Economic and Regional Development Minister, Stuart Nash, said the program would support local businesses. Some of these businesses are making a real name in the global marketplace. The government wants these businesses to grow into even more successful global brands. So, the new investor program is a key to achieving this goal. Active Investor Plus Visa is to deliver more benefits to the economy. The goal is to attract active and high-value migrants who will bring their international expertise to help New Zealand businesses to grow, and it will increase local employment as well. The old investor visa often ended up migrants investing in shares and bonds rather than directly into New Zealand companies. It hasn't added value to the economy as the government predicted. This is one of the things it's going to change in the new program. The government wants newcomers to add value to the companies, communities, and the country. So, when will the new visa start? September 19, 2022, the Active Investor Plus visa will be open. If you're going to apply for Investor 1 and Investor 2 visa, your application won't be accepted after July 27, 2022. If you have applied before this date, don't worry, your application is safe. But the new applications won't be accepted after July 27. Immigration New Zealand is again responsible for processing the new visa category. Applicants who make direct investments with the 5 million in New Zealand dollars will get the highest rating than those with indirect investments. The required amount for indirect investment will be 15 million dollars as I explained. The government wants to improve the flexibility of the new investors. They allow the investors to invest over a three-year period and keep their investments up to the end of the fourth year. Investors will have to spend at least 117 days every year in New Zealand. The living days were 88 days for the previous investor programs. The new changes are to ensure that investors stay in New Zealand to assist the local companies in growing. The program might decrease the number of investments, but it will increase the number of active investments. And that's what the government wants. You might be wondering about the other requirements. We know that English Language Proficiency Certificate Level 5 still will be required. It's because the government is sure that when you want to do business in the country, you need to be able to communicate fluently. The good news is that you can invest the amount into different businesses as well. Alright then, this was all about the new Active Investor Plus Visa. If you're interested to know more about it, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. The latest news and updates will be announced by the Visa Library. Before you leave, ensure to like this video. It will help us to come back with more videos. Stay tuned. Thank you all for watching.